Hey there, when we were on our road trip around Montana, there were other things that we found to do besides going into Glacier National Park. We stayed in a hotel at Big Sky Resort and we also rented an RV and camped right outside of Glacier National Park. Two of the nights that we were near the park, we rented a car and that way we could go into the park without our RV and find parking spaces. But we also found other things to do outside of Glacier National Park that are a short drive. So I'm going to share with you five other things to do when you are near Glacier National Park. We camped near Glacier National Park at the West Glacier RV Park, and that is in West Glacier Village. And in West Glacier Village, not even a mile from the entrance, the west entrance to Glacier National Park is a little bitty village. West Glacier Village is about three or four restaurants and shops and a rafting company all in one space. And the great thing about the village is that there are parking spaces and things to do around there. So the number one thing to do near Glacier National Park is to send your family on a rafting trip and then you stick around and shop in the little West Glacier Village. Glacier Raft Company is right there in the West Glacier Village, but you can also, while you're waiting on your family to finish their two and a half hour rafting trip in the summer, you can get a drink or a snack at Frida's or another little shop. And then you can also shop around. And then there's also right behind Frida's a bike trail. And that will take you maybe 15 minutes to walk down, 15 minutes back. It's very easy, it's paved. Um, and it's right in the back of Frida's. There are other rafting companies that you can use in the summer, but they are about 15 minutes from that west entrance of the park. If you use Glacier Raft Company, they start and end right there in the parking lot of the West Glacier Village. The second thing I recommend that you can do near Glacier National Park is to park at the Shepherd Memorial Fountain. That is a tiny little fountain on the side of a mountain, but you park across the street from there in like a little pull-off. And what pull-offs are in Montana are they're like a parking area, lot area on the side of the road, but they don't have slots for you to park in. So most people just drive by Highway 2 and they just pull in long ways. They don't like get in a parked position. But right there is a huge pebble beach on the side of Highway 2 and the aqua color from the Flathead River in that water is just amazing. You can even take a chair down there and sit, but pull out your flip flops and walk down onto the pebble beach and just stand there ooing and aahing over the Montana scenery right there. It's beautiful. If you're liking this video, be sure to click the bell beside subscribe. I'm a Houston pilot wife and share tips to help you travel the globe without a worry in the world. I would love to meet you in the comments below. A third thing you can do will require a car and that is to drive to the Hungry Horse Dam. It's about 15 minutes from the western entrance of Glacier National Park. This dam was constructed in the 40s and 50s and it is quite a sight to behold. The base of the structure is 330 feet thick full of concrete and you can walk from the little tiny parking lot all the way across the dam and back and that would probably take you about 45 minutes total you do have a paved area along that road across the dam um, but there are no rails to protect jumpy kids or anything like that but it is beautiful just to go and see the fourth thing to do is right near that fountain that I mentioned in number one, and that is to visit the Huckleberry Patch. They make their own pies and ice cream there. I recommend getting the Huckleberry ice cream instead of the pie. There's something about blueberry pie and Huckleberry pie that is a fine line between too tart and not sweet enough. And then with the crust, you can't even taste it because of the sweetness and the tartness of the fruit. So I recommend just going straight to the Huckleberry ice cream. There is a large parking lot there and the Huckleberry patch also has a location in Arley if you're near there and they give free tasters of their ice cream. If you're visiting Montana in the summer and need to know what in the world to wear for all of the temperatures that you're going to go through, like I was, I have a great video that will give you inspiration and a packing list for what you really need to wear and pack for that trip to Montana in the summer. 
The fifth thing to do near Glacier National Park and an added bonus tip is to get a car and drive around Flathead Lake. It might take you two hours to get around the 28 mile lake. The views are beautiful and I think what's so pretty about Montana is the sharp rugged mountains against that peaceful calm water is just beautiful. We camped at the KOA in Polson at the base of Flathead Lake and the views there are beautiful. You're driving around and you see these rolling green hills or mountains and then you get around the corner and there are these jagged snow-capped mountains and just this huge lake. It is absolutely beautiful. I recommend grabbing a cream soda from Norm's or a Huckleberry Shake and just getting in your car and driving. The bonus tip is if you rent a rental car, it will be probably near Kalispell. And the directions on Google Maps are misleading and confusing because it says that it's in Columbia Falls but the Kalispell um, Enterprise rental car area is a mile north of the airport in Kalispell on that road, that highway road that the airport is on. So just go straight north and you will see the Enterprise rental car, which is where we got our little car for two nights. I hope you get a chance to do one of these five things near Glacier National Park. Let me know if you've ever been, introduce yourself. I really appreciate the time you take to watch my videos. Come back soon.